Welcome to my channel. My name is David Rogers and you're in David Rogers neighborhood. Thanks for showing up, man. Um, just for those of you who don't know, I don't do this for my city. I don't do this for the clout. I don't even do this for money. I'm doing this for my, my son, my beautiful born, my beautiful two year old son, because when he comes of age, I want him to know what my influences were, what his father's influences were in this life, the things that shaped me into who that who I am so that he can take it to the next level. So having said that, today we're going to review a film called Black Orpheus or Feo Negro. For those of you who are Portuguese speakers, this is a film from 1959, takes place in Rio de Janeiro. It, it stars a, an actress by the name of Mira Pisa Dawn, who by the way is American born. And that is the biggest revelation of the film. So um, say no more. I could just go on and on and on about Brazilian cinema and about the impact of this film. But this film is, is so important on so many levels because uh, there are as many Africans that were uh, stolen away to Brazil as was the United States. As a matter of fact, there were more slaves stolen away to Brazil than there was in the United States. And that's apparent in the intro to this film. Uh, it's apparent in the, um, the texture of the film and the colors in the film. And I appreciate the, the director, um, Mauricio uh, Camus, who is the director because he kept it true. He kept it true. He didn't start he didn't start uh, playing the race game. He, he, he was a French dude who came to Brazil and was influenced by what he was seeing and went back to Brazil with this uh, actress who, by the way, looks spot on Brazilian, uh, but she's also was uh, uh, raised in France, I believe, uh, Marie, Marpisa Dawn. But um, uh, man, this film is the real deal when it comes to uh, 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 understanding, appreciating uh, how poor people keep their head up, number one, uh, how you can be poor, but how you can still have light all over you. And uh, I think this film captures that, captures that 100%. So let's go ahead and take a look at the film right now and uh, get some thoughts. Interesting enough, the very first scene of the movie, you see a blind man who finds the most beautiful girl in in all of in all of Brazil, and um, you know, ain't that how it really go? You know, because <laughs> when you look in, you don't find it, but a blind man can find this type of beauty. That's, that reminds me of that line from Prince. You know, if I was, if God struck me blind, your beauty I still see. So, yeah, here he is. It's a blind man, and he runs dead smack into our lead character, who is she's going. She's headed to her cousin's house, you know, because she's running. She left one city because she felt like somebody was trying to kill her. Obviously, this is a this is the Portuguese version, and um, this is the Portuguese version. It's because it's not authentic, but you can't find this film. Uh, in several languages, but uh, you know English being obvi being an obvious one of them. And there, now we encounter um, we encounter Ophel, who is uh, who never had an acting job before this particular before this particular role. He was actually a soccer player, and he got cast by uh, Marcelo. Uh, for this role and he just killed it. He did a fantastic job because uh, you could see the passion in his eyes and I mean he's with this girl but he falls for he falls head head over heels for uh, for a uh, uh, mere piece of dawn. He's a singer and he's a uh, he's like the um, he's like the neighborhood I wouldn't say the neighborhood playboy but he's admired by everybody. And by all the ladies, but uh, he just shooting his game. Justamente. 
Mas era da melodia delas que eu gostava. <laughs> <laughs> But she ain't going for it. She ain't going for it just, just right away. She too serious, you know. She she's coming off of a she coming off of one of them, you know. She ain't ready to play because she been she been chased by death. She's being chased by death. So he's like, what? So you know, you got to take her serious. You know, she's saying those words. Those words you spoke was so powerful. They reminded me of something. And he's like. He's like, damn, damn, she said. But, uh, you know, leave comments if you like the film, if you check it out, if I left something out, I didn't mention something that you thought was important about this film, man, go ahead and um, leave comments, leave the comments below. And, you know, let me know what you thought about the film itself or, you know, just the way I, the way I, uh, I just sat back and just told you, what, you know, what I, what, what I could make of it in the length of time that we had. But, um, you know, leave some comments below. Let me know what's up. Let me know how you feel about it. And, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the bell and, you know, get notifications for when I do drop something new. And, um, you know, stay in tune, man. Thanks for tuning in to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Yeah.